Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a physics asset of a something like a hanging lantern. So it's a, what I've done is I've got a ball attached to a chain with a light inside it and when we jump into the game we should be able to move around and push it about and the, the light stays inside it and moves about. like that. Okay, so hopefully this is going to work. Uh, the, the issue with this is that it is dependent on physics, I believe, and it tends to freak out a bit sometimes, and it tends to freak out a lot more when I'm recording the screen with Camtasia. So although this works absolutely fine, when I'm not recording the screen, it may start to act a bit strange. But let's give it a go. So I've got my 3ds Max scene here, and all I've done is modeled this this chain. I'm going to show you how I'd rig it quickly. So I'm going to make a cat rig. It doesn't really matter what kind of rig you make. I'm going to make a cat rig. I'm going to set it all at zero. Zero, 0 for the base and then I'm going to add a pelvis put that to the top and then from the pelvis I'm going to add a tail and I've been using 10 sides uh, sorry 10 links on this so the more links you add to your chain the more it's the more likely it is to start to freak out and do really weird physics stuff 10 for this chain seems about right to me. If you're making one shorter, then perhaps use use a few few less links. If I've tried to use 20, it just doesn't work. It just starts to act very strangely. So I make the this all the right length. Let's go down to the bottom. And then at the end, I'm just going to make a. Uh, where are we? I'm going to add a bone onto the end on the last link, and that'll obviously be for for this actual ball. So then I just need to rig it. So I'll go to my ball and chain and add a skin modifier. Let's add all the bones to it, except for, well, this isn't a bone, but we don't want this this helper, this character base here. So, so I add all the other ones. And the only thing that I think I need to change with this, it should basically be set up correctly. But I will just make sure that my bottom bone isn't rigged so this thing that's just the ball isn't rigged to any of the chain and that the bottom ball bit is 100% rigged to or skin to this bottom bone okay let's just check that's working so if i get my cat rig and add a animation layer and turn it into animation mode we should get some reasonable behavior from that. Looks okay. So let's export our, so I've just selected my, I've just selected the mesh, none of the bones, just this mesh selected. I'm just doing file export selected. You can see I've been trying this out quite a few times with a different number of joints in it. Uh, let's call this chain underscore tutorial so exporting as an FBX everything in here should just be left as default I think that should be fine ignore this error or that warning and that's it we're done in 3ds max so let's go to unreal I'm just gonna make a new folder in here to keep things clean 
and let's import the model. So we want change tutorial and I want to import it as skeletal mesh. Just make sure that this is select, set to none. So we create a new skeleton and everything else should be okay. If you make sure it also has create physics asset ticked. And that will create this physics asset here. So this is what we're going to have to set up to get our chain to work properly. So if we go come into our physics asset. Okay. This is how this is going to allow us to set up the way that the all of the bones are constrained. What I want to do is to set the the, the hub, so the base here to be the physics type, I want to change it to kinematic. That'll mean that it doesn't just drop down. If I set that to, uh, let's just leave that default. If I simulate this now, everything just kind of drops to the bottom. So if I set that to kinematic, that will hold that in place. So you can see some of the strange behavior we've got going on here. Uh, I also find that if I set the, the first uh, this first bone here in the um, this string of bones if I set that to kinematic as well it just seems to behave a bit better okay all of these ones I want to set them to simulated and let's just try simulating that you can see it's still acting pretty strange so what I can do is let's go to constraint mode first of all and I want to make sure that these linear limits are all locked and I want to lock the twist as well and I think that should be everything in there to to get it working reasonably um, if I come back to body mode now and I'm going to set the angular damping, dampening to uh, 2, seems to work pretty well. That will just, it will stop it from, uh, how do I describe this? I think it actually says here, is it saying the tool tip? Yeah, it kind of adds a, a, a drag to it, so it stops it from, it gives it, 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 gives it a sense of weight when it moves around. Um, the other thing that I will need to do is I'll want to set the the mass scale on all of these. So not the bottom, not the actual, this ball at the bottom, but all of the other ones. I want to set the mass scale a lot higher, something like 200. And that will stop it from hopefully behaving too badly. Okay, so now if I simulate that, you can see that it's it's kind of behaving itself. So I can hold control and right click to move this about and that looks pretty much okay so if you're having trouble you can mess around with those settings but hopefully that should give you pretty much the behavior you want okay so let's save that and I'll get rid of this one and I'm going to put this into the world first of all and let's just test that out so it's going to play if we bump into it that's behaving pretty well okay so just as an, an extra bit to this that's pretty much it just as an extra bit I'm going to show you how you could put a light inside this so to do that, I'm going to need to create a, well, there's a couple of things I need to do. I need to create a blueprint. I also need to add a socket to this light, uh, to this skeletal mesh so that I can attach the light to the socket. So to do that, I'm going to go into this skeleton here. And if we come into the skeleton, 
you'll see the, the, the sort of bone structure hierarchy you've got. And we can just go to the, the bit where we want to add a socket, which is right down the bottom here. And I can right click on it and do add socket. So I'll call that um, lantern light. I'm just going to copy that. I'll need the I'll need the exact right text for that in a bit. Let's save that. That's now got a socket we can attach something to. Now let's make a blueprint of this. So we'll just find the skeletal mesh. We'll right click on it and go to create blueprint. I'm just going to put it in here. So change to tutorial blueprint. And then I'm going to go to my components. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a light to this. So let's just find a point light and add that. And we'll make it really intense just so that we can see what's going on with it. Although it's not doing very much at all at the moment. There we go. And okay, so that's that's we've got a point light in here, but it's not actually attached to the socket. It will move with this, but the pivot for this is uh well it's just gonna move with the pivot, it's not gonna move as this as this animates. So if it swings it's not gonna move. We actually moved the whole skeletal mesh blueprint then it would move with that but that isn't what we want so what we, we need to do is just create a little bit of logic to hook that light up so i'm going to do just a event begin play so i'm just in my event graph now and then i'm going to get a reference to the point light and i'm just going to find a way of attaching that to the uh, socket so I'm going to find this transformation attached to and you can see in there there is a socket so let's paste the name of that and I think that should be everything what I might do is just I'm just going to make sure that it's uh, hooked up to this skeletal mesh as well so it's attaching the light to the skeletal mesh and the socket is called lantern light. And we'll leave that to keep relative offset. That should be okay. So compile that. And that should be everything. Um, oh, actually, no, I've missed one thing. So because we made this into a blueprint, we just need to make sure that this is all set up to use the physics. So, uh, I'm not sure if we need to simulate physics on or off. I think that's probably okay. But we do need to make sure that our physics asset is set to the physics asset that we've made. And let's set our collision to be the physics axis collision. Right, that may work. And that's it. So you can see the, the light is attached in there. What I probably need to do is it's, it's in a slightly funny position. So I just need to move it in the blueprint uh, to be attached in exactly the correct spot. I think it's kind of attached where the pivot is at the moment, which is, is probably around here somewhere. Um, but that's easy to do. That's just a case of offsetting it a bit in the blueprint. And that should be it done.